In this video, I'm going to talk about the muscles of the thigh, and I'm going to start with the anterior aspect of the thigh. These muscles collectively are called the quadriceps, innervated by the femoral nerve. This is the vastus lateralis on the lateral aspect of the thigh. This one in the middle is the rectus femoris, and on the medial side is the vastus medialis. The deepest one of the quadriceps is deep to the rectus femoris, and if you cut this in half, you'll be able to visualize that better. That's the um, vastus intermedius inside and deep. All these four bellies of the same muscle are innervated by the femoral nerve extensor of the leg. Now let's go to the adductor side and anterior side of the leg adductor anterior. This muscle that actually covers the adductor compartment is the sartorius innervated by the femoral nerve. This muscle, which is much bigger in the human, in the cat than the human, is the gracilis. So both of these in the cat are much bigger, sartorius and gracilis. Gracilis is innervated by the obturator nerve. When you reflect these, then you can see a few of the adductor compartment of the thigh. This muscle that's typically a little bit redder than its neighboring muscles, this is the adductor longus. This muscle here, and sometimes it has two bellies, sometimes it has one, this is the adductor femoris. So this is the adductor femoris. This muscle, now we're going to functionally talking about the posterior muscles of the thigh, which flex the leg in the human. These belong to the hamstring group of muscles. This is the semimembranosus. This is the semitendinosus. And I just wanna bring your attention here, since this is becoming like a regional dissection, this is the femoral triangle with the femoral nerve here going to the quadriceps. In this video, I'm going to discuss the posterior aspect of the thigh, beginning with the, uh, again, another member of the hamstring muscles. This is the biceps femoris, under which you can find the sciatic nerve. And then this muscle here kind of looks, uh, you know, triangular, maybe four-sided. This is the tensor fascia lata, tensor fascia lata. And this is actually the fascia lata of the thigh. So this is a deep fascia of the thigh. If you rotate the cat a little bit more, just superior to the biceps femoris, you find this muscle. This is the caudo femoralis. And then superior to that is the gluteus maximus. And then superior to those two is the gluteus medius, which is actually in the cat a little bit bigger than the gluteus maximus.